Welcome to Kenya. And welcome to another marathon video series. I'm training for the Berlin Marathon out here in Kenya, which is in just under seven weeks from now. I've already been here for just over a week. And we thought we'd make a weekly video series leading into the Berlin Marathon, where of course I'll try to break my best time of 2.20.46. We're not gonna name the project sub 2.20. We're just gonna get in there, train as hard as we can, see where we end up, make a decision closer to the race as to what time we'll go for. But of course, this video series will show you what it's all about to train in Kenya at high altitude. The obstacles that you have to face in training at this sort of elevation, we're at 8,000 feet roughly, I think, 2,350 meters. It's a very different ball game. You have to have, you know, you have to pay a lot more attention to your diet, to your hydration, to your fueling. Uh, I'm just in the middle of a 10 mile run on my eighth day here. We're gonna go through the first week of training though, shortly when I get back and then also show you a long run uh, my first long run that was two days ago that I actually pushed myself pretty much to the limit, um, which probably shouldn't have done, honestly, on day seven here. Um, but, you know, we are constantly learning about how to, how to train, especially in different elevations and different um, phases of the period of training. Um, so, yeah, welcome. Okay, so we're just under seven weeks out from the Berlin Marathon. I'm here in Kenya. The main reason why I came to Kenya was because we have a Sweat Elite training camp, the fifth Sweat Elite training camp, starting in a few weeks' time, which will run from the end of August to the end of September. And I thought I would come to Kenya a few weeks earlier to do a full eight-week, technically seven and a half weeks, but eight weeks, training camp leading up to the Berlin Marathon. I've noticed in the past that I've responded really well to altitude training, especially training in Kenya. Um, predominantly due to the fact that I'm not very good at running on hills, but when I do repeatedly expose myself to running on hills, which in Kenya, like you can't avoid running up and down hills easy, even on easy runs. Um, I just feel like I get a, a really strong from running here from several weeks. I've trained here before for up to five weeks and I've raced really well straight off that. So doing seven and a half weeks, almost a full eight weeks of training leading to the Berlin Marathon, I think will serve me really well. And... There's so many differences in training at altitude as it is training at sea level. But the first week of training here was really good. I did my first marathon specific long run two days ago along Moyben Road that was 35K. Uh, it was a little better than I expected. We have plenty of video footage of that, which we will show you shortly. But I will go through the first full week of training, uh, which was eight weeks to go through until seven weeks to go till Berlin Marathon, where the real marathon specific workouts begin. This video series is sponsored by Saw Running, my favorite running apparel brand based out of the UK. You'll see everything I wear in this video series to be Saw Running. They produce the best singlets and the best tights and marathon shorts in the game. Top for Running, one of Europe's fastest growing running retail stores that stock all the top brands, all the latest models at the lowest prices. You can see them at the Berlin Marathon. They'll have a booth at the Expo. If you're looking for a new pair of races or trainers, do not look past Top for Running and use the code SWEATELITE at checkout to score the lowest possible price. You can find the link in the description of this video. Precision Fuel and Hydration, look no further for the highest quality electrolytes, carbohydrate drink mix, and gels on the market. The caffeine gel is my absolute favorite, and you can use the code SWEATELITE-YT for YouTube, 15% off your order at Precision Fuel and Hydration. Pillar Performance, a sports micronutrition company that I've been working with for quite some time that create the triple magnesium blend that has really improved my sleep. You can use the code SWEAT15 for 15% off your first order. HVMN's Ketone IQ, a relatively new supplement used by many of the world's best endurance athletes, such as Sarah Hall, Cameron Worth, and others. You can use the code SWEATELITE to score a 20% off discount at checkout over at HVMN, and you can experience the magic of ketones yourself. Okay, so I'm logging everything on Strava. So if you want to follow more statistics and like more an an analytics to what I'm sharing on video, uh, they're all over on Strava. But I arrived on July the 30th on Sunday night. Uh, very late and my first run was on Monday morning uh, and I titled the road the road to Berlin because technically that's when the eight week block started 15k run uh, 442 per k and I'm going to say this a lot through the series but 442 per kilometer up here on the hills especially when you've just arrived at altitude is the same effort as probably running about 420 maybe even 415 per kilometer on the flat at sea level I do a lot of training to feel and I'm saying that purely based on 
general feeling. There's no science or any evidence behind that. Everyone's different as well. Some people find that their paces between training at sea level and altitude are closer. Mine are quite a bit further apart. But of course, as you acclimatize and stay here longer, those paces become closer and closer, but they never quite get um, to the same. But that was Monday morning. In the afternoon on Monday, I did a 5K, very easy run at 4.45 per K with a couple of friends. On Tuesday morning, I ran with Angus, who's filming most of this video series. And it was my first, what I would call, workout. Um, I've never really subscribed to the idea of taking the first week really easy. Most people do do that. I used to do that, and then I sort of tried to push the envelope a bit through other training camps at altitude and never noticed having any problems doing some harder workouts in the first week. But I've made sure to never go more than, say, 90% effort in the first week. So in this run, 18.3K, we did the first half an hour uh, pretty easy, and then we did a 30-minute section in the middle where we were sort of running at a steady state. I wouldn't quite call it marathon effort, but probably not too far off that. It was very hilly, very, very rocky underfoot. Uh, we were probably averaging about four minutes per K, uh, but it was a cross-country course, very, very uh, yeah, rocky underfoot. So we were constantly having to make sure that um, we weren't rolling ankles. We were just making sure that we were sticking to the flat parts. Um, on the following day, on August the 2nd, on Wednesday, a 16.5K run at 4.46 per K down the hill. There was a couple of guys that had just arrived, a couple of friends that wanted to stick to a route that was relatively flat going downhill because they didn't want to hit the hills on the first couple of days because hills at altitude when you first arrived are a nightmare. They are just, they shoot your heart rate straight through the roof, um, very difficult to recover from. So they wanted to do a flat run. So we did a 16.5K run down the road towards Eldoret and caught a bus back. That was Wednesday. And the Thursday workout that I was supposed to join a group of Kenyans did not go to plan at all. <coughs> wow, man. These workouts are so rogue. I just start and just freaking everyone just <laughs> do your best down this random road in the middle of nowhere. Most people just running solo, just rushing it out, doing their best. It's pretty funny, <laughs> including me. I think we've done seven by two minutes, or maybe six, and the total is 17. And I think after nine, they turn, so first workout here, we've lost the group. <laughs> Straight away, more or less, before halfway. So I arrived to the training session very late with the group of Kenyans that were doing a session of 17 by two minutes, and I couldn't figure out where to put my phone. So I found a guide a motorbike to give my phone to just as the Kenyans had already taken off. So it took a bit of time for me to catch up to them. So I basically did a seven minute threshold to catch up to them, and I burnt way too many matches. So I decided to stop after about six or seven of the two minute reps down the road, hoping that they would turn around after a few more reps so that I could catch them coming back up the road to finish off the training session. I joined them for another four by two minutes back up the road. Yeah, luckily found Campbell as well. It was good to run with him for a couple of the intervals towards the end. We're running about 3.30 to 3.45 per kilometer up the hill uh, in the two minute intervals, but uh, it was a pretty tough workout, bit of a mess how it all worked out for me. But uh, at the end of the day, it was just my fourth day at altitude, third or fourth day at altitude, and it's good just to get a solid effort in anyway. Every time I come to Kenya, it's the same. The first workout and the second workout in the first six days are really appalling to the point where I'm like, what the hell has happened to like any fitness I had? It's gone. Uh, I'll try not to turn up to uh, late to a session again so I can do the full workout with them. In the afternoon, a 45 minute easy jog, 9K at 4.48 per K. On Saturday, an 18K easy run. Uh, we, <laughs> there's this loop that I discovered a few years ago here that looks like when you run it, it looks like a map of Africa. So you can see here on Strava that uh, we ran the Africa loop. It's an 18K run at 4.54 per K, about 280 meters of elevation gain on that one, so pretty hilly, uh, very easy run. And then, sorry, that was Friday. And on Saturday, I did a 13K run, just an hour at 4.51 per K, followed by a few hill sprints, just 15 second hill sprints, in preparation for the key workout of the week that we filmed more or less the whole of, that was Sunday's long run, that was 35K at an average of 3.55 per K. I joined one of Hong Kong's best marathon runners, Eric, who's a 225 guy who's also doing the Berlin Marathon. He's hoping to also break 220 at the Berlin Marathon. We started with a couple of K warm up, about 420 to 430K pace, and then we gradually progressed from about 410 down to about 340 per K. 
I was really happy with this run because I thought I'd only been here for a week at this point. I'm not really quite sure how acclimatized I was, how hard 345, 350 per K pace was going to feel, which was the idea to do at the last sort of 10 to 15 K. But I felt pretty comfortable. Unfortunately, I had to take a quick stop at about 32 K because uh, obviously I uh, trained the gut a little bit too much for what it was ready for, um, but still felt great finishing 35K at 3.55 per K pace. And um, yeah, we can show you plenty of footage of that and run you through some commentary from the long run out on Moy Ben Road. Total kilometers of the week, 144 kilometers, which I think is about 90 miles. And I think the first week was, it went just as well as it could have. So yeah, six weeks of really hard training to go before an easier week leading into Berlin Marathon. And I think so far, um, things are going really well to plan. Started. Perfect weather, huh? Introducing yeah. <laughs> from Hong Kong. Yeah, Harold. One of uh, yeah. Hong Kong's yeah. fastest yeah. marathon runners. He's trying to, break, <laughs> trying to break 220 also at Berlin. So, yes. perfect uh, to train with. Yeah, it's my second week in here and it's quite good because I feel up like 100 miles in here. Yeah, so, so very good. So, how long have you been here for? Sorry? Two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, it's my second long run in here. Okay. So today just like maybe 20 km in 4 minute pace and see the last 15 km can I increase the, the speed up to like 3, 5, 0. Okay. And you? Who are you Me. mate? <laughs> Who am I? <laughs> I'm Kieran, also from Australia. Um, just tagging along on their long run. Probably be going a bit slower today. Just cruising, maybe like 420s, 430s. Goal at Berlin, PB. <laughs> <laughs> What's your PB? 231. I think Kieran's gonna so, have a big one. We'll see. I won't say on camera how big, but it'll be it'll be yeah, good. Yeah. Put, put a big call out there, but nah, just if I can run well, get fit here, I'll be good. You've been in Kenya for a week. Is it what you expected? Yeah, as hectic <laughs> as I expected. Uh, it's more rural than I expected. More rural? Yeah. Yeah. I thought there'd be slightly more amenities, but that's all good with me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the uh, Asics. Meta Speed Sky today. Top for running sent me these to try out. Heard good things, so first time using them. And um, they feel pretty good upon just having a walk around. So, yeah, no idea what I'll race in yet. I'm actually testing a whole lot of shoes, which I'll go through the series um, uh, Mizuno, Naki, on. Um, so I'm going to give them all a test and then make a decision closer to the race, but i good things about these guys, so I'll run in these and give you some uh, feedback afterwards. That feels pretty good. So that yeah. one for 2K? Okay. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Yep, yep. Yeah. Okay, ready. ready? Let's do it. Let's Go. do it. Go. Two kilometer more. Yes. Two yeah, about that. Maybe a little bit. A little bit slower than 4.10 then we'll get into it. Good morning. Good morning. So you finished the 2k warm up. Oh yeah, yeah. pace yeah. now? Yeah, we're at 3k. We're going like 4.05 now, so the first k and a half was like 4.30. And now we're getting into the, the next long block of yeah around four minutes to 410 yeah. but Moy Ben I've probably said this a billion times before but <laughs> Moy Ben's not completely flat but I wouldn't really call it very hilly either it's just sort of slow rolling hills so I guess the average will be like around four minutes for the next 20-25k and then we'll pick it up a little bit so we've got a bit of a rise here and a bit of a drop and then but blessed with just 10 degrees, no wind. So, Very good. yeah, doesn't get much better for training for a, uh, for a long run for sure. <laughs> 
<laughs> what up? <else? laughs> Casual mom, right? <laughs> but I could see Matt like checking his last thing. I'm like, oh god, here we go again. <laughs> Just preparing more or less what I would do before a race. Um, normally, I get up earlier and have more time between the time of the run and uh, the time of preparing this. But because we're starting to run at six, I didn't really want to wake up at three today, so I got up at five. But I will take um, precision fuel hydration through this long run. I've just woken up to have um, one of these electrolyte tablets upon waking up. And I'll just drink this throughout the run, try and take in around that 70 to 80 grams of carbs per hour, uh, which will come in the form of the carb drink mix. Huge thanks to Precision Fuel Hydration. Those that have watched my series have known that they've been supporting the videos for quite some time now, so massive thank you for sponsoring this series as well. And their gels, which I'm a massive fan of. And it's been really cool to see a lot of people actually switch over to using these gels um, because they're able to pack in 30 grams of carbs in a small packet, which is pretty rare for a gel. Most gels have 22 to 23. Five grams of carbs, and the caffeine one has a hundred milligrams of caffeine, which is essentially the same as a relatively strong coffee. So I'll take that probably halfway through the run, and having caffeine now just in the form of a regular coffee. Um, the other thing I've introduced to the um, diet, I guess, or pre-workout uh, routine that some of you might know from the podcast, is the ketones, which is a really interesting supplement. They've been supporting our content lately as well, HBMM, TCN IQ. I'll take two of these before we start. Um, I find that they just give it a little bit of additional energy boost. And I feel like the mental clarity aspect is really interesting as well. It's almost like I feel a little bit more like I'm ready to give a full effort, which is helpful at this time of day when you've just woken up. <laughs> so uh, yeah, a lot of athletes are starting to take this as well, um, especially Ironman athletes and cyclists. So. Um, Normally, you can only activate ketones in the blood via fasting. When you run out of carbs, your body then goes, okay, what can I use for energy? So it produces ketones from the liver, from the gut, um, but this is exogenous, so you can essentially take it with carbs. So we'll talk more about that later, but I'm taking two of them. And otherwise, I've just been taking carbs since I've woken up in the form of cookies, which is just oats. So like normally I'd have oats. Um, I haven't been able to cook them here, so I've just been adding a few of these, which I bought from the supermarket, which is essentially, um, yeah, oats in cooking format. So yeah, that's it, pretty simple. Start of the day, we're getting picked up in 10 minutes. We should have a couple of guys running out on Moyben Road. The weather looks to be pretty good. We run over 30k. We're like 6k six, six in now. Thank you. As for the ASICS Metaspeed, uh, shoes that I tried on in this run. I really liked them. I didn't think they were quite as responsive and sort of springy as a Vaporfly 1 or 2 or some of the other shoes that I've been trying out, but they definitely felt very comfortable. Definitely am a fan of them and would recommend others to be using them in training and in racing. And I know quite a few of my friends really like them, but um, yeah, I think I'll keep them just for training during this training block. Almost well, half, uh, actually we are halfway. We are halfway. Going. We're gonna turn around. In 2k? Yeah, plenty, yeah. Yeah. Well, we're going like just under 4 minute k's. It's not good. Yeah. Taking in maybe 80 grams of carbs. First hour and 15. So, hour and 10. So far, so good. So, throughout the run, I would manage to take in around about 80 to 90 grams of carbs per hour via the precision fuel and hydration gels and the drink mix was lucky to have the driver there to hand us drinks more or less every 20 to 30 minutes and the run definitely went a bit better than i expected i thought i'd probably average around four minutes per k on this run um, but even when we turned around and started running 345 pace it got pretty tough for sure um going gradually up the hill i'm fucking battling this is what i need <laughs> But still managed to do it uh, to a reasonable effort. How's it? Yeah, going well. I'm gonna catch you. <laughs> yeah, a bit early. Yeah. No, great day. What's going on? <laughs> 
Toilet break. My stomach just exploded. Oh. <laughs> Good? Yeah. Just take a quick toilet stop. Just probably ate too close to the start. 400. 400. 450 meters. Okay. Nice. 35. Oh, that went perfectly up until whoa, 32 and a half when sort of out of nowhere my let's go and finish it off. My stomach just exploded, which is very um, rare for me, so that's kind of annoying, but I think <coughs> I actually have no idea why that happened. So I have to, I mean, I always do say though to people that I coach that <coughs> if you're getting to the point of needing to, to use the bathroom in training, you're probably training your stomach pretty well. So it's kind of annoying to have to stop and not be able to continue, but um, I'm gonna put my shorts, but uh, it's probably training the gut pretty well as well. Well done, man. Yeah. Wow, you're strong. Here you go. So yeah. strong, up the hill. Yeah. I couldn't keep up with you. Just train in Kenyan style. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest, they keep speed up. <laughs> yep. What was your average pace? Mine was like 355, I think. 354. Wow. Just, That's just really good for this course. Yeah. Pretty good. This elevation. I think too much up here. <laughs> Ready and then. We try to speed up and then keep. Oh, up here again, up here again, up here <laughs> again. On the way back, yeah. after the turnaround, it's. I mean, you'll be able to see the struggle graph. It's, it's predominantly just a slow grind uphill, yeah. um, which is, you know, it's a great training stimulus, yeah. but it does make it tough. Hot in the training, easy in the race. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 355 average, but I did stop for like uh, three or four minutes to toilet. We're like, oh my God, where's the pink? <laughs> yeah, we've lost the runner. <laughs> I shot into one of the side roads and just um, tried to hide. Ale boy! <laughs> Great. Good job. How's that? It's good. It's good. Well done. Good well stuff. Done, Very strong. You got 32 yeah. in? Good job. Okay, cool. Let's get back to breakfast.